Hey folks, what is going on? Justin Masson here with Nintendo Dads. Hey, it is an indie world today. We got a 20 minute indie, roughly 20 minute indie world. This was announced yesterday, uh, happening here in just a matter of moments. Excited to see what's going to happen. Uh, usually we get an indie world near the end of the year anyway, so this is timing is pretty perfect for this. Let's talk about a couple rumors that are out there. So, hey, if you're like, hey, I don't want to be spoiled. I want some fresh hot takes. Uh, you might want to wait a couple moments. But here are the rumors that we're hearing, or at least here are some of my speculations. Definitely there was a leak yesterday that Outer Wilds should be announced here. Uh, now, Outer Wilds was originally announced for the Nintendo Switch back in February 2021 at a Direct and Indie Direct as well. So we're nearly three years since that announcement. Uh, and you know I've been pining for this game for quite a while. So hopefully we'll get a release date. Now, interestingly enough, the fact that it is 9 p.m. or sorry, 9 a.m. Pacific time uh, is actually when the eShop does its its typical refresh for new games launching and dropping. So I'm going to suspect that we're going to have quite a few out today moments, Outer Wilds potentially being one of them. A couple other areas that uh, to think about here, or at least that have kind of been brought up as, as attention, or at least ideas, potentially speculations. Of course, Silk Song being a speculation as always, and you can see the chat already blowing up with Silk Song. Pizza Tower is another one I've heard often uh, referred to as well. So that could absolutely be there. Do I think Silk Song will be here? That's tough to say. Is Silk Song bigger than an indie world? I think that's a question we need to ask. And so uh, knowing the hype, knowing the fervor around it, possibly that is it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're jumping in. Here's my other hype moment or that I'm thinking, uh, just so it's on record, Hi-Fi Rush. That is the other one that I want to see is Hi-Fi Rush. But ladies and gentlemen, let's jump in. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We've got another packed showcase full of indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. So, without further ado, let's, let's go. get into it. Let's go! Shantae, okay. Shantae is back, all right. I like other statement is, but you're facing the wrong way. I know that maybe I'm being super particular. This feels like way too pushed in. Like I need to, I need this to push back a little bit for me to see. Shantae Advance, Risky Revolution from Way Forward. Great, awesome. Hi, I'm Matt Bozon, Creative Director at Way Forward. And I'm Aaron Bozon, the creator of Shantae. In 2001, we started development of a Shantae sequel for Game Boy Advance. Yeah, I was going to say, it does definitely feel like we always Boy hoped Advance that game. someday we could go back and finish it. Now, more than 20 years later, we brought the original development team back together to complete the lost Shantae game. Shantae Advance cool. Risky Revolution is coming to Nintendo Switch, and we cannot wait for you to play it. After 20 years, this long-lost half-genie platforming adventure is back and ready to grant a few wishes. Do you have any, Andrew? I mean, obviously I wish for Shantae's signature hair whip attack. Granted, naturally, but think bigger. What's going on? Okay. How about magic dances that let me transform into different animals with unique abilities? Bigger. How about completely rearranging stages by shifting the foreground and background to solve puzzles and find new ways to progress? Now you're talking. Plus, for the first time in the series, up to four players can duke it out on the same screen in a local multiplayer battle mode. Oh, that's fun. Wow, I didn't even wish for that one. Embark on this once lost revolutionary it, adventure. It just when feels Shantae like to me advance, risky revolution the, 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 spins off the Nintendo too Switch far next forward. year. Um, like, I, I want distance, though, that makes sense. But great, awesome, 2024. this kind of looks cool though from an art style perspective I'm interested got a little bit of a Zelda-esque feeling oh you're farming are you kidding me oh that's that's kind of interesting Lock on, that feels a little bit, the 
core keeper. Oh, uh, okay, that looks interesting. Drawn towards a mysterious artifact, you find yourself stranded in an ancient cavern full of hmm. relics and wonders. Gather resources as you explore procedurally generated biomes to uncover the secrets of this long forgotten world. There are tools to craft, crops to grow, pets to hatch, bases to build, and monsters to fight during your subterranean adventure. No need to do it alone though, as up to eight players can work together in online multiplayer to explore the underground. That's kind of cool. Customize your own character. Assign skills, wow. upgrade your tools looks and like armor, a lot and prepare to here. face the titans that lie in wait. But looks An cool. endless cavern is ready to be explored in Core Keeper, plunging oh. onto Nintendo Switch next okay. summer. Okay, interesting. I'm going to put that on the radar. Okay. Uh... On your tail, okay. Cat people. Weird, creepy person in a mask. Hey. Ooh, that guy looks angry. It's a, uh, what the? Interesting. Ciao, sono Mauro, direttore creativo di On Your Tail. Io sono Imma, l'art director. E io sono Andrea, il produttore esecutivo del gioco. E tutti noi di Memorable Games non vediamo l'ora di accompagnarvi in un'indimenticabile avventura Sleuthing investigativa. Molti di noi cresciuti okay. qui in Italia condividono bellissimi ricordi delle vacanze al mare. Per un paio di magiche settimane si viveva una vita diversa. Si incontravano nuovi amici, si esploravano posti nuovi e si facevano esperienze mai provate prima. L'avventura di Diana mm -hmm. in On Your Tale yes, è ispirata yes. a quelle esperienze, ma con un pizzico di mistero in più. Speriamo che la visita a Borgo Marina possa darvi quelle stesse sensazioni di intrigo e meraviglia. A presto! Ok. A seaside mystery awaits in this narrative life sim with a little bit of sleuthing mixed in. Narrative life As the intrepid young sleuthing. detective Diana explore the charming village of Borgo Marina. Hit the beach. Hang out with friends, play games in the arcade, or kick back and relax with some fishing. How you spend your summer is up to you. Um, isn't there a masked menace on the loose? Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Use your investigation and interrogation skills to get to the bottom of this mystery. Collecting clue cards along the way will help deduce who the menace behind the mask really is. Oh, look at this. Play like your a... clue cards right, and you might just have a vacation you'll never forget. Oh, that's interesting. On Your Tail launches on hmm. Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive next year. Timed console exclusive, that's interesting. She has lived in these woods, but it all fell apart when her brother was taken away. The prophet was born death, which gives her a unique protection against this curse. Many restless nights she spent to perhaps reveal the unlucky fate of her strategy brother. Strategy game card base, it looks like. Interesting art style. Like kind of uh, kind of cool actually at the same time. Owl. Oh, that's a that's a that's a cool name and a really cool logo treatment, really. A fairy tale world is being ravaged by the howl, a sinister plague spread through sound alone. Only a deaf prophet can find oh, the cure cool. and bring back peace to this deaf realm. Prophet. That's awesome. Use both your weapons and wits to progress in this turn-based tactical folktale, illustrated with a living ink art style. That You'll need to stay more than cool. one step ahead. Six steps, in fact. Plan your moves in advance, predicting your enemy's actions as you write your own prophecy. That's cool. Plot your route carefully. Find secret paths and I, unlock I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if this is like a game for me. All with the goal to save from the claws and howls but like it looks of cool. the wolves. Howl arrives on the Nintendo later Switch today. system there you go. later today. today. A free demo will also demo be available Demo later today. On That's Easy. my favorite kind of later today.
camera. Ooh, it's like a little escape room puzzle thing going on here. Interesting. What's going on? Photo of food. Hello, we are Soul Line Studio. Our new game, The Star Name Eos, is a narrative adventure puzzle game where players use photography to explore stunning scenes. Behind every object, painting, and photograph lies fascinating stories waiting to be discovered. To highlight the difference between reality the guy and the movies, right as well not as to capture here. the fleeting essence of time itself, we chose photography as our game's theme. We wanted to use a more intimate and heartfelt interactive experience to convey the personal emotions and struggles that are buried deep within our hearts. We hope you will look forward to playing the Star Name Yells. Cool. Photographs okay. and the memories held within them tell a heartwarming story of love and understanding in this puzzle driven narrative adventure. As young photographer Day, use your in game camera to take pictures of the hand drawn world around you solving puzzles to help uncover the truth about your mother's absence. Overcome challenges to recreate old photographs and piece together the story. Hmm, Use cool. those snapshots to step back in time and shed new light on the moments when the pictures were taken. Discover the beauty of The Star Named Eos, launching on Nintendo Switch Very next cool. spring. We are halfway through this direct. Here's an oddly specific question. Yes. What if expertly Nina, packing Nina, the, a bag right? made you more powerful? Maybe then I don't know this is each isn't. trip to the supermarket would this make me a hero? Nina the exactly. Though, in the case of this roguelike deck builder, the supermarket is a perilous dungeon hmm. full of enemies. I was excited battle, there for a moment. Then I was like, uh, to encounter not quite it. And then I was like, it find. can't be me, the hollower, because it's a Kickstarter game. I still get to be a hero, game. though, right? Yes. Bring back the loot you find in the dungeon to help rebuild your hometown. Oh, uh, this sort of reminds me of Moon Knighter or Moonlighter, or in hero. some ways even Excellent. Dave the Diver, right? Collect Quest, hundreds of do something, come back, build, and shop, that kind and of thing. And organize your backpack to unleash their full potential. Interesting. Find potent combinations and use each character's unique abilities to repel whatever enemies stand in your way. Grab your magic okay. backpack and prepare for some seriously fun inventory management in Backpack Hero, launching on Nintendo Switch later, later today. today. Okay. Oh. I don't know if that's up my alley, but all right. Welcome to Future Osaka, a dystopian cyberpunk world where a group known as the Misa Association is charged with protecting the city from demon attacks. Okay. One member heads out on this deadly assignment, but things soon take an unexpected turn. This kind of In looks this like 2D action game, fun. you'll wield the powerful Luminous Sword, a demon transformed into a deadly weapon. This blade not only cuts down foes, but can also interfere with time itself, restoring once destroyed stairs, bridges, and platforms oh, to reach new areas. That's kind of interesting. Can you master control oh. of your demon blade? Blade Chimera slashes onto Blade Nintendo Chimera. Switch as a timed console exclusive okay. next spring. Very cool. These hills are awash with stories. Come to the sea by Beltane, he said. Mm. And I'm doing it. I'm coming. I must be off my trolley. Yes. Ooh, I love the music. Scottish background. Very cool. This looks, this looks, this looks cool. Come to the lighthouse, Moira. Come as fast as you can. Huh. Highland song. Hi, I'm Joe, and I'm co-founder of Inkle and the creative director of A Highland Song. And I'm Nat, lead level designer in the game. A Highland Song is all about how it feels to explore the mountains of Scotland. 
and it's been directly inspired by our own adventures in the wilderness. That's pretty cool. The remote Scottish Highlands can be beautiful, but also harsh and unforgiving if you're not prepared. That balance is something we've tried to capture in the gameplay of a Highland song, from difficult climbs to fast-paced rhythm runs. We're excited for you to immerse yourself in the landscape we've created. Get ready to head for the hills. We're going on a foot it definitely, frolic You know, it has a little bit of Scottish vibes Highlands. to me of a little bit of... All roads um, lead to the ocean in this narrative platformer. Oh my gosh. And there are a lot Oxen of different Oxen free in some take. ways, too. Scale the peaks and roam the valleys. Just from the little bit of the... hundreds of new paths and shortcuts to reach the sea as fast as you can. The narrative builds and adapts yeah, it feels based a on little, the route you take. Definitely has a little bit of an oxen sights, free look. Sounds and characters you encounter affecting the tale. That's very cool. Run, jump, climb, and scramble your way to your goal with the sound of Scottish folk music scoring your journey. Mm. A Highland song launches on the Nintendo Switch system That's December cool. 5th. Pre orders begin today mm. on right. Nintendo eShop. Mm, interesting, interesting. <gasps> oh yes! Moonstone Island. Procedurally generated islands. Yes. Creature collecting, dungeon out today. crawling, out today. deck building life. This, this is so basically. This has been on my radar for a little bit. Into one? Well, they were like, you'll, we have nothing to announce to yet, but it's coming soon. Alchemist by to Nintendo Switch. Islands in the sky. Yes. Collecting over sixty adorable spirits in compelling card combat out today. across this out open today. world. Then, when you're ready to head home, a whole community awaits. Yes, it's a little unwind. bit Stardew Valley. It's Craft a little bit items. Tend yeah. To your farm, brew potions, decorate your home, befriend the local villagers, and who knows? Yes. Maybe you'll even fall in love. Live your life however Come you on. choose in Moonstone Island. Ah, Watching spring. That's okay. I'm still excited. That's awesome. Next spring. Okay. Cool. Look at the clock, we have about five minutes left. They're gonna have a sizzle reel here in a couple moments, which is where I think we're gonna get our our timing for uh, Outer Wilds. And then we'll probably have a one more thing. Typically is how these go. And we've only had uh, two out today so far. Hello, 大家好，我们是双簧把戏 Death Trick Double Blind 的开发者。我是制作人糖果，我是美术 Jenny。我们从高中的时候就是好朋友，而且我们两个都是各种侦探故事的爱好者，所以那时候起一起制作一款侦探游戏，这个想法就埋在了我们的脑海里。我们希望结合绚丽梦幻的美术风格以及丰富多彩的人物群像故事，所以我们就想到了马戏团。谢谢大家，希望你们也会喜欢在双王把戏中破案以及了解这些马戏团人物背后的故事。That was exactly what I was going to say. Come one, come all. Morgan's traveling circus is in town. Unfortunately, their star magician Hattie has gone missing in this investigative visual novel. Okay. Enter an unlikely detective duo. One a fellow magician, the other a private eye with an unfortunate bout of amnesia. I hate it when that happens. As they each investigate Amnesia. Hattie's disappearance, you'll need to combine each character's clues to figure out which suspects have been clowning around. Oh, I see what With you did. With only there. a limited number of actions at your disposal, you'll need to carefully decide which leads to pursue, looking out for contradictions in the evidence you acquire. Sort through your collection of clues, get to know the stories of each whimsical character you encounter. And challenge anyone you find to be deceitful. The investigation begins when Death Trick Double Blind launches first for Death consoles Trick on Nintendo Double Switch Blind. next a... year. A free demo will be available on Nintendo ah, eShop later today. Again, love a good demo. Love a good demo. There it is. There's Outer Wilds. So it's not part of the highlight package. It will be part of the out today. So they took a while, and they also did like a, a deluxe edition, I think. So I wonder if this is the deluxe edition associated with it. 
I'm pretty sure it was a deluxe edition, edition or like... Yeah, there it is. Archaeologist edition. Yeah. Exploration is key to unraveling the mysteries of this peculiar solar system. This open-world adventure has you scouring multiple planets in search of clues, strange signals, and ancient alien texts to decipher. But don't dawdle, the solar system is trapped in a time loop, and each planet changes dramatically as you explore. Delve into an underground city before it's swallowed by sand. Dodge sky-high cyclones, and explore a planet collapsing into the black hole at its core. Find the keys to unlock the secrets of the I solar system in the, the most Xbox, hidden and dangerous uh, of places. On Game Pass for a little Plus, bit. Plus, unravel very interesting. the deepest secret of them all in the included Echoes of the Eye expansion. Yeah, so they have the expansion here too. Grab your cosmic hiking gear why. when Outer Wilds uh, Archaeologist Edition December 7th. touches down on Nintendo Switch. Not a note today. 7th. Really? Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay, right. A stop. physical version will also be available I'll next year. Well, Amber, it looks like our time's almost up. Almost, almost up. But before we go, One let's take a look at a few thing, more indie games right? coming to Nintendo Switch. Planet of Luna. Lana, this is fantastic. Yeah, I was going to think. I was going to ask if this was going to come in. This is really good. I played the Xbox. Highly recommend it. Fantastic game. This is great. That's a great one to have. like a fun physics game. Oh yeah, I remember this gecko game from a while ago. Right. Yes, there it is. I did call this a Braid Anniversary Edition. Yeah, okay, that's a good one too. That'll be big. Thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed the games okay. featured in today's showcase. Interesting. A big thank you as ever to our indie community and partners working hard to bring their experiences right, to the so Nintendo Switch system. looks like we're Switch not going to have a one more thing. Follow our nope, official okay. Indie World account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. It's all right, though. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Thanks again for watching. And as always, happy gaming! So now we're going to begin the internet conversation of where is Silk Song again, as they typically do, right? All right, so hold on a second here. Um, all right, yeah, uh, there's a lot of just like, no silk song, no silk song, where's silk song, right? Okay. All right, let's hide chat. I don't like chat. Hold on a second. How do I, okay. Hide chat, there we go. I said hide chat. You, ch you know what? Forget it. I will. Okay. Either which way, folks, uh, you know, I'll just go full screen. Just stop it or pause it. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was a good Indie Direct, right? Um, you know, definitely a couple of games that I was very excited for, a couple out nows, which is exactly what it needs to be doing. Definitely seeing more games continue to be developed and, and pushed to come out in 2024, which is what we should be expecting from a back catalog, despite, or from a catalog, despite the fact that people think we should just be moving to the Switch too. Uh, I think some games that I'm definitely interested in, um, Moonstone, obviously, Outer Wilds uh, looks great. Braid, uh, Planet of, Lan of Lana, or Lana. Um, I mean, there's four right there, right? Those are some fantastic games and definitely some that piqued my interest. I always love it when you put out a demo. That's always a great thing for people to try and, uh, and to jump into. So again, a lot of great content, a lot of great indie games. Let me know in the comments below what indie game caught your interest. What are you looking forward to the most playing uh, from what you've seen? And what is the indie game that you wish they showed, but they didn't? And stop saying Silk Song, all right? Just choose something else. It's got to be something other than Silk Song. Let me know in the comments below. Personally, for me, Hi Fi Rush, where are you at? Man, I was really hoping for it. I had my fingers crossed and happened. Thanks for watching, Nintendo Dads. Take care.
Bye-bye.